Hey guys, welcome to my channel, me Shelly B. What I'm doing today is a Burger King mukbang. Got my Burger King food. I have onion rings, I have french fries, I have the Impossible Whopper, which is the main reason why I wanted to do um, this mukbang, because I wanted to try this Impossible Whopper and see how it tastes and get my opinion on it. So I went ahead and I got uh, two meals. So I could do a mukbang. And I have a regular Whopper. Like I said, I have the Impossible Whopper. I have onion rings and I have french fries. I already took them out the cart. But I do have another one over there. And I have my root beer soda. Um, so okay, give me a minute. And we are going to get in on this this mukbang so guys i was watching um queen l eats if you don't know who she is go ahead and check her out because her and her husband are so daggone funny queen l eats go over to her channel um i saw them doing the burger king chow i mean burger king mukbang and the onion rings that her husband Tweezy had were like five times bigger than this. What what is this? What is this? <laughs> That's an onion ring. But it's it's doesn't look anything like as big as those were that they had. But hmm. They're good. Get my vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my vitamin D. That's because I'm vitamin D deficient. So I have to take it every day. Mm. That's cold. That's cold. Man, these onion rings are so good. It's been so long since I've had some onion rings. I might get through this burger, but <laughs> the onion rings are holding me up. Let me put these over here with the with the French fries to get that out of the way. So, and of course, you know, it looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> it's always flat. It's never like the picture. This is the Impossible Whopper. You know, you got your regular stuff on there. Lettuce, tomato, onion. It's a bit pickle. Yeah. And that's the plant-based burger. So let's see what, what's going on with this. I don't really taste anything except the lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle. Let me just take a piece of the meat by itself and see how it tastes. It kind of tastes like a charbroiled um, burger off the grill, but by the aftertaste, you can tell it's not a real burger. Well, charbroiled Whopper burger, but it's good. Mm. 
It's good. And I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Not wasting my money. So, yeah, who else has tried um, the Impossible Whopper? Let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments. Mmm. These baby onion rings are good, y'all. <laughs> baby onion rings. <laughs> mm hmm. I like it, y'all. My baby on your rings. My little baby on your ring. <laughs> and the fries are good too. It's been so long since I had Burger King. I don't usually eat takeout food. But I guess if I'm going to be a mukbanger, I better <laughs> start getting used to it. That and I'll be doing my own home cooked meals. Oh, yeah. Also, guys, go check out um, Ms. Katrina G. I'm going to put her info down in, in the description box also. She has a great channel. So, yes, go check her out. So, it's from there. Ms. Katrina G. <laughs> now she be grubbing. I think Miss Katrina G and Queen L Eats would get along really well. Cause they both like to eat. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying some um some different things, different um uh, foods and stuff. I've never had the pie pie pop pie, pie pies. I'm sounding like another YouTuber that we all know. <laughs> I want to try the pot pies chicken sandwich that everybody has been talking about forever. And compare that to the KFC chicken sandwich. I also have a seafood boil coming up. I think I might save that for my birthday, which is on the 24th. Since can't nobody really do anything, uh, might as well say birthdays are canceled until the quarantine's over. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to do a seafood boil. I'm also going to do, I already have my big strawberries. I'm going to redo the candied strawberries. I don't know if y'all remember, but you can check in my videos. It wasn't that long ago. When I had a failed attempt at ASMR. <laughs> but I'm going to try it again. I'm going to be patient this time and start off slow with the, uh, the sugar. Heating the sugar. What I did last time, I think I heated it too fast. And um, 
it just got sticky. Mm. Oh, excuse me. It just got sticky on the uh, strawberries and the halo oranges. But I'll be doing those again. Mm. And in the next couple of days. Sorry. So I'll be doing that. Couple other things in mind. So yeah, I'll see what I can come up with. Like I said, I'm not a big talker. So I have to find other ways to make my videos. And interact with my subscribers and future subscribers. Because we're all a family. When you become a subscriber, you're just one, one big club. Welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat this one until later. If at all, because it's a lot of food on my stomach. But I really do like this um, Impossible Whopper. I would eat it again. Mm -hmm. Now... How do you suppose they make a burger out of plants? And it looks just like a burger. I'm messy, y'all, talking with my mouth full. Anyway. I'm just trying to stay safe in this quarantine. I hope everyone else is. When I went to get my food, they, they were gloved up. Masked up, they had everything looking safe. So, if you guys have any questions or just want to say hey, drop a comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drop a comment down below. I will respond. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. If you like the video. I swear one of these days I'm going to know the right place to look. On this camera. So I'm not looking crazy all over the place. Or do I look down there? But I'm going to finish off these. I am so full. That, um, that Impossible Whopper was very filling for it to not be neat. Last two. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me and having lunch with me. 
It smells good. It tastes good. I really enjoyed it. I'm full off of the Impossible Burger and the onion rings. I did have a couple of fries. But nothing will go to waste. So, thank you guys so much. This was fun. Um, like I said, I will put down in the description box the name of those two YouTubers I want you guys to check out because they're awesome. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one.